Hello and welcome. Today we're going to do a crochet stitch, which I have unfortunately no name for yet, but I'm hopeful that I'll get one. So it's very simple. We're just going to chain our foundation chain and we'll just go ahead and couple more, do a couple more here. And then I'm going to hold my thumb right here at the last stitch, so to speak. So then I'll go chain one, two, three, four. And you see that I'm doing it rather loosely. Um, there's a reason for that because this whole stitch looks very uh, open and unruly actually. So now I'll take my hook and go into that first chain. I loop one stitch through, two, three, four. You notice that I didn't go through the last stitch but we're going to do that now as we continued as we finished our four stitches here which is my goal for this particular pattern pulling it through the last stitch on the hook. Then I'll continue going this way, go into the chain, pull one, two, three, four, and then pull through the last stitch on the hook. And again, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and through the last and we have to do this a couple more times here I believe one okay and do it one more time for the last stitch here one two three four now we're turning our work and this is what we have this is our beginning it looks okay it's not it's not really anything pretty, it's just kind of interesting. In this case, again, we're going to go chain four, one, two, three, four, and then we're going through both stitches. Right here, you see this row that kind of lines up. We're going to go through both stitches, front and back, and we're going to do the same. We'll pull through one, two, three, Four, and then we'll pull it through the last stitch on the hook and here because you can see here that this is this last stitch that we're in so we're leaving that alone we're moving on to the next one which is right here so we're going to go through both front and back and chain one two three four and pull through the hook and again we're leaving this one alone we're going to the next one which is right here front and back pull through two, three, four, and pull through the stitch on the hook. And same thing again. Oops, sorry, I'm stuck. And there you go. And this is kind of what we're getting. It's a very open weave. Uh, I find it to be a fun, fun look, especially on tunics, because it's got this openness and airiness and it's just kind of fun to wear and um, it's not like a very organized stitch at all but I sure do hope you enjoy it and uh, maybe we'll have a naming contest for this stitch that might be kind of nice so enjoy it and have fun and we'll talk again soon